everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here. It is so nice to meet you. Today's video is going to be my January favorites. If you are new here, I do a monthly favorites video at the end of every month so I can share with you guys some stuff that I've been loving throughout the month. So that's what we're doing here. Yeah, I just, I do it every month. So um, with that being said, before I get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and we're just gonna make this casual and vlog style. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanna talk about is actually already in my office. I'm gonna sit here on the floor. Well, first thing is my Dyson. I think I've included my Dyson in every video since I got it. My hair is not done with the Dyson right now. I let it air dry, but I have only let it air dry three times since I got it since Christmas, and I wash my hair like two or three times a week. So I have been completely obsessed. This is the Dyson Airwrap. Beautiful. We love her. She is a beauty. Don't you hate when people refer to an inanimate object as a she or a her? Because that's what I just did. Anyway, I have been obsessed obsessed with the Dyson Airwrap. I have used every single attachment. I have done my hair so many times. My hair has never looked better than when I use this. So 100% have to say that I think it's worth the money. I did a review on my channel. When this video goes live, it'll have been last week. So if you guys want to check out my overall thoughts, pros, cons, and things like that, then I will put that down below for you guys. But yeah, Dyson has definitely found its way onto my favorites list for the month of January. So very happy to be sharing this with you guys. Now, let's go downstairs. Just kidding, I realized the next thing I wanna show you is actually right here. It is the Batiste Dry Shampoo for Dark Hair. And listen, I know this is dumb. I've never tried it before, and it's dumb for me to even think that like, it literally sprays on your hair dark. So it's like colored. So if you don't have dark hair, then it's gonna look really bad. But I have had my hair blonde for years, and obviously my hair is brown. It's pretty dark now, but um, just since, I don't no, even the beginning of last year it was pretty blonde um but as i've grown it out it's obviously gotten darker because my natural hair color is darker and then i also dyed the ends with a color depositing conditioner so it is got like a red tint to it but uh, my roots are really dark so i have been using a regular dry shampoo but for some reason the residue just like was not working for me it was really difficult to get it out it was giving everything like the worst white cast ever so i knew i needed to buy a new one i think it was just an effective bottle but while i was buying a new one i bought this one and it has been an absolute godsend for my hair, especially because I have been using the Dyson so much that I have been wanting to prolong the style. So instead of washing my hair as often as I normally would, I just have been using the dry shampoo to prolong the style and it's been a game changer for sure. Now we can go downstairs. Okay, so the reason I came downstairs for the next item is because it's where my coffee was. I have been absolutely obsessed with the blonde roast coffee from Starbucks. So that's what I have here. It is a minty iced blonde vanilla latte. I decided to try it one day. Absolute game changer. Seriously, it's so, so good. It's a little bit on the sweeter side compared to regular espresso, but because it is not roasted as long, which is what makes it the blonde espresso and also what makes it less, less strong, I guess. So a little bit, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. It makes it not, it makes it a little bit sweeter, but it, that means it's also roasted for less time. So it has more caffeine, which beautiful if you ask me. So that's the next thing I've absolutely been obsessed with. And then to go along with that, I have been moving my hands around a lot. I wanted to show you guys my nail. I recently did a vlog and I reviewed these, but these are the Olive and June press-on nails. These were $10, but I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I've had them on for over a week now and I can never get nails to stay on for, <laughs> for that long. But the fact that they've been on for so long, I think they look incredible. They feel incredible. They don't look like press-on nails, which I really, really love. They look like I actually went to a salon. I've had so many compliments on them. I just think they're so cute. I'm fully obsessed with them. Like I said, $10, not a bad price at all. And the whole setup was so so easy. They're also really hard, so I don't have to worry about them like bending or anything. So overall, I'm a big fan. Olive and June press-on nails from Target. I will absolutely link them down below for you guys because I am fully obsessed with them. 10 out of 10 in my book. Now let's go over to my bookshelf over here so I can show you the next thing. Okay, it's a little bit darker over here. Um, I feel like I haven't shown candles in so many different videos, but this one specifically is Sunwashed Citrus, and I got a gift card for Christmas to Bath and Body Works, and so I was like, like I can get one candle or I can try to get a bunch of candles that are on sale. So I tried to smell all of the sale candles. This one really stuck out to me. This is the perfect dupe for the volcano candle from Anthropology Capri Blue, the brand. But 
I find that that one is never on sale. Like they never put Volcano on sale. So when this is on sale at Bath and Body Works, it was, I think $10. So $10 for a brilliant Volcano dupe, amazing. Like I cannot believe how much it smells like it. Whenever I was, like whenever I first burned this, my first thought was, holy crap, that smells so much like Volcano. Like that's why I bought it because I thought it smelled like it in the store. And then I got home and I have a Volcano essential oil and I smelled them together and they are almost identical scents, which is insane. I know that this one is regularly $24.50 priced and the same size candle of the Volcano is about $30. So if I was buying one or the other, I would probably choose the Volcano, but when this is on sale, it's 100% worth the money. 100% worth choosing the Bath and Body Works one. So wanted to mention that to you. Please don't sell these out so that I can find one whenever I want a new one, but seriously, such a good dupe for such a good deal. Okay, we're just changing up all the locations, but the next thing on this list is actually on my coffee cart, which is why I'm over here. It is this. It is the Lando Lakes Chocolate Supreme Cocoa Mix. This stuff is a bomb. Like, literally, it is so good. Sometimes you want a hot drink, but you don't want tea and you don't want coffee, so that's where the hot chocolate comes in. This was actually in my stocking from my in-laws for Christmas. A lot of these things have to do with Christmas because Christmas was a month ago, but... I I have just been absolutely obsessed with it. It tastes so good. It's so creamy, especially with some warm milk. It is like absolute perfection. It has actually been cold here. It snowed two weekends in a row, which is a miracle in South Carolina. So I definitely have been obsessed with drinking the hot chocolate just cause like I said, sometimes you don't want the caffeine from a hot drink. You don't want the sleepy time effects of a tea or even the caffeine from a tea, depending on which one you have. So 10 out of 10 in my book, it is so delicious. There's also another one in here that I tasted. It's the French vanilla and chocolate cocoa mix, and this one is also very, very delicious. Okay, so I've changed my location one final time for this video. It is this. I don't know why I'm sitting in my living room when this belongs in the kitchen, but it was sitting on my coffee table. This is a mug. This is a travel mug that my brother gave me for Christmas. Again, a thing that I got for Christmas, of course. What a surprise. But it's from Amazon. The brand is Fellow, but it is a stainless steel travel mug, thermos type thing. Let me open it. So obviously this is the inside of the lid. And then when you open it there is this splash guard which is so nice so if you drink something cold with ice you're not gonna like bombard your face with ice i wanted to taste it. i put the water in here yesterday and it's still cold so that's so nice but it has the splash guard which is literally so nice it's also nice because it kind of just like slows the flow of your coffee um so i have put hot drinks in here i've put cold drinks in here and genuinely it is so nice i think it was like 15 dollars maybe i'm seriously a big fan my brother had one of these and i told him i liked it and i wanted him to get me one for christmas so he had me pick out the color it's this really pretty mint color yeah i'm obsessed with it it's so nice i've been carrying it around my house all the time whenever i've been thirsty i take it to the gym with me whenever i'm thirsty because it's not too much for me to like chug and then feel sick because of drinking too much water, if that makes sense. But it's like, the, it holds a perfect amount of liquid. It's perfect for a cup of coffee, 10 out of 10. If I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys because I'm seriously obsessed with it. Okay, so this was probably the most chaotic video of all time, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my favorites for the past month. And if you guys want to check anything out, I will try my best to link everything down below. Sometimes I forget. So if I did and you want to link for something, please let me know. So yeah, that's all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I'm trying to get to 10K for the end of this month and I literally had 9,000 like two seconds seconds ago. Let me refresh my page. 9,002. 9,002 subscribers. So literally like I just hit 9,000, but I also just hit 8,000 like two weeks ago. So I don't really know what's happening, but if you guys could help me get to 10,000, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, that's all I have. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.